Hey computer graphics, um, I am here to discuss your next project which um, is going to be a logo design. Okay, so we're kind of going back to the third week when you were out um, because of COVID-19 where you um, took notes on logo design, you watched a few videos that I had posted, and um, you went through a slideshow that I created that had the notes and some examples of logo design. Okay, so for this project, you guys are going to come up with your own fictional business or company. Okay, so for example, if you wanted to um, just kind of stick in the realm of graphic design, you could pretend that you are a freelance graphic designer um, or freelance artist, and in that case, you could use your name. Um, so like mine could be Miss Fargnoli Designs, or you can base your fictional company off of what you might want to do after you graduate high school. So maybe a construction company or um, a physician, okay? So really think about what you um, might want to be after high school or what your goals are, um, or it could be even like a fictional business that you know, has nothing to do with what you might want to do when you get older, but it could be, you know, like a restaurant logo or uh, maybe someone in your family needs a logo for their company. So um, for the assignment to get started, what you're going, going to do is first come up with a name for this fictional business, okay? So make sure you base that name off of um, kind of like the genre of the company, the company's theme. So if it's construction, you know, you might want construction in the, in the title, or maybe it's a family name. Okay. It could be something that is also creative that maybe, um, you can think of symbols, um, to help make your logo strong. So for example, I use this in the slideshow, I, I believe where I came up with the idea of lightning bolt designs. And my message was that it, um, you would create striking designs um, with modern, um, with a modern look, I think, or something like that. I forgot what my example was. But like, just coming up with an idea like lightning bolt designs immediately gives you um, ideas for imagery. And um, that could help you simplify your logo versus coming up with something that's um, too chaotic, okay? When you think about a logo design, you want to think about something that can be scaled as small as um, a symbol on a business card. So a business card is usually like two by three inches. But then you want to think about um, how it would look scaled as large as a billboard that you would drive by on a highway. Okay, so it needs to be able to be read at a small scale and a large scale. Okay, so for example, if you had too much going on with your logo and it was scaled very small to fit on a business card that's two by three inches, you're going to lose a lot of that detail and it's going to look very messy. Um, it's not going to make sense. So you want to always think less is more for a logo design. Okay, so after you come up with a name, you're going to want to research and review Okay, so that's number two on the handout. There is a handout, by the way, posted on Google Classroom for this. So you're going to review the logo notes on week three that you did. So there was a slideshow of notes. You should have written them down in your workbook, so you could also review what's in your workbook. Okay, maybe review some of those videos if you have forgotten about them, about um, the importance of a logo design. Okay, also the video on Aaron Draplin that I gave you over the week that would have been your spring break. That's a very helpful video for beginning to sketch for a logo design. Okay, he also goes over um, manipulating his designs on screen. So you won't see him just designing one logo on a computer. You'll see him manipulating that one logo he first creates and then turning it into multiple logos so that he can compare and contrast um, to see what works best for um, the company that he's designing a logo for. So definitely check that video out under week three if you haven't yet. Um, for research, you don't need to write anything like we would do in class. 
but if you skip the research step, it's going to, probably going to be difficult for you to, to begin sketching. So for researching, if you, let's say, are doing, um, are going to create a graphic design logo, so a logo as if you were a freelance graphic designer, you are going to want to search um, for professional logos in that area. So you're going to want to search for professional graphic designer logos. Okay, that will help filter your search so that you can see what some look like um, in that area. If you're going with construction, I know I keep using it as an example, which you don't have to do, but you're going to want to filter construction logos so you can see um, some professional design logos already. You don't want to copy those, okay, when you're sketching. You just want ideas and inspiration to help you get going. Okay, so for sketching, this is your third step. You're going to create six um, kind of like thumbnail sketches. Okay, really for this project, I, I normally have you guys do many more than six, but because of, you know, this whole situation, I'm going to just make it six um, just so it's not too much work. And um, then after you create the six, we'll talk through Google Classroom and um, discuss what your strongest logo design is. Okay, so again, you're going to have to do six sketches. They could be thumbnail size. I would maybe put a little bit more detail in, not just quick scribbly sketches. You really want to get an idea for, you know, your symbols and text that might be incorporated. Also, when you're sketching, really keep those gestalt principles in mind. So similarity, proximity. If you have um, a grouping of elements that are all in proximity to each other and then one element that's kind of far off to the right, that's going to be disconnected, that one element that's farther away. Okay, you want to make sure your elements are close in proximity to one another. Okay, and, and then you could play around with figure ground. That could be something that helps make your logo more appealing. Um, okay, so definitely check over those Gestalt principles to help you come up with a unique and interesting design. To make the sketches, you can hand draw them, or you can use Photoshop if you're able to get that at home. Um, any other design software that you're comfortable using, you can use. Um, I also added an app called Logo Maker Shop. Okay, that it should it should be free, and um, I played around with it a little bit. Um, it's not so much creating all of the elements on your own, but they do have a lot of elements that you could pick from and like drag onto the screen and then organize in a way to make it how you would want. Okay, so you're drawing it using some sort of software on the computer that you might have. Remember, GIMP G I M P is an, a free alternative to Photoshop if you. Uh, have a computer at home and want to try and make it um, like we would have in class. Okay, and then there's that app logo maker shop. By the way, everything I'm talking about right now is on the handout that's attached um, under week, I think it's week eight, on Google Classroom. Okay, so you could find all this information there. That is going to be due on the 15th, the six sketches due on Friday, May 15th. So not this coming Friday, next Friday. You got two weeks for it. Okay, once I see that you've uploaded those, I'm going to um, leave some comments on Google Classroom under your post that um, will just be feedback. Um, you know, I'll kind of mention what might need to be reworked or uh, what's working in which logo the best and maybe you might have to combine some of your logos uh, your logo ideas um, to really get your strongest um, final logo. Okay, so once you see that I've written you feedback, then you're going to select or rework your logo, okay, so that you can hand in a final one, which will be submitted on Google Classroom on May 22nd, okay? So on the handout, definitely check that out. There are um, examples. I included an example that I found online a while ago of this company called uh, called Glow, uh, and it shows the process of sketching. So how they 
really designed um, and changed each idea. It's not the same sketch drawn out six times or multiple times. They really changed it to see what might work the best. Okay, and then I included Natalie Calburn's logo design from last year. Okay, she did a really nice job. She actually did her sketches on screen so you could see that on that handout. All right, so Zoom hours this week and from now on are going to be Thursdays at 1.30. If you have any more questions about this assignment, just um, log on to there on Thursday. I'll attach the link to the Zoom um, on Thursday morning so that you guys can just click the link and show up. All right, so again, just email me or come to the Zoom meeting on Thursday if you have any questions. And this, this is what we'll be working on for the next couple of weeks. So again, review your logo notes if needed. And I can't wait to see what you guys will come up with. All right, so at the end of this video, I'm going to repost the handout just in case you guys aren't seeing it. Um, so make sure you check uh, or you watch the, the rest of this video as well. All right, guys, have a great week.